Okay, so till now we have learned the tools and the methods to create the simple nerves geometry, which is the flow of the you can say the smoke. And now it's time to create the particles, and I would like to direct the particles on the nerves geometry. Okay, so first I would like to change the color of this nerve geometry. So for that, I just simply right click and let's say assign the favorite material, and I can go with the Lambert one and this is should be fine still the gray that's good and before I begin to create the process of the particle systems I was first like to switch off or you can say hide the dragon so let's say control H alright now it's time to create the particle system so under the FX menu I like to go to the end particles and for this course I am relying upon myself on the legacy particles we are not utilizing the end particles at least for now so we can go and let's say create the ammeter so by default our ammeter have to come to the 0 0 0 so I'm gonna take it towards the source of the opening which is the you can say the tip of the magical lamp and let me just you know very carefully position that up so once it is positioned properly just make sure that it should be near on the surface and I think so it has got this position so once it is done if I gonna play the timeline you notice that actually nothing is happening it's just maybe because we haven't provide any speed to the particles and secondly the rate is also very less so first I would like to begin with the rate which is the rate of emission of the particles per second since in this case you know we are using the real-time 25 FPS that means the 25 frames will going to be count for one second so let's say we like to give approximately 500 particles and we have no speed actually let's say 5 is to 5 we give it initially just to see that what exactly happening okay so this is the case and you can see that first let me just you know change the background color to the dark so that we could notice stuff so once I'm you know playing the timeline you can see that the particles are you know creating themselves insanely and which I'm surely don't want so first thing is that I don't want any speed inside the particles so okay, that was just for the vision purpose so I just need to go to the outliner and you know click the particle system which is particle 1 and it's a good advice that we should change the name so double click over here and let's say the magic underscore particles that is great so the particle is selected the geometry is selected what else we need is the goal so what I want is that the story says you know we have constructed this geometry for a purpose and the purpose is that the smoke will also going to follow the way the geometry has been created but how the simple concept is that we're going to create some particles the particles will be given with the goal which is actually over here that will going to align the particles all upon the surface of the geometries but for that we still need to use some few tricks that I'm going to explain it later and then once the particle will start following the path of the geometry we are ready to introduce the fluids upon them alright so this is the part of the story so now if I go inside the outline you can see my particles are still selected the nerves geometry is still selected so what we need to do else is that you do the end particles and find the goal and make sure that the goal weight should be one and create it okay so just for getting the better visuals and better understandings I'm just you know disabling the geometry by switching off the visibility okay and I also need to switch off this curve as well and now it's time to play the timeline you can see that those particles which were earlier been getting insanely you know coming out from the emitters have now been adapted upon the geometry of the uh, the curve that we just you know created but there is a problem obviously this is not the way we want we want the smooth and consistent and con continuous flow of the particles so what you need to do is that first we like to need to select the particles control a and under the shape node we would like to give some PP attributes you can say the per particle attributes and for that I need to go to the general and there's something called the particle and pick the goal U and goal V alright so now you can correlating the stuff exactly if you are you know paying a close attention to the course which is 
that's the reason why we normalize the curve the curve is also made of the UNV and still we have the UNV goal system all right, all right. that means for the goal U it will going to sample of the particles upon the U sections of the inner optometry and for the goal V it will going to sample out or you can say spread out upon the surface of the nerve geometry which is having the V sections alright so what do we need to do first thing is that under the goal V let's say create a ramp and go inside the edit ramp and you know just turn the interpolations over like this way and with the first interpolations you need to go to the selected color and it's important thing that you know since after 2017 things have been changed in terms of the viewport you can say color management systems and also just to take the proper look and feel for the colors and the shader values you need to change the mixing color space from the rendering space to the to the display space that is absolutely important alright so once we're done with this one it will automatically going to put it to the display space the interpolation which means the distribution of the points between the two um, points obviously which is 1 and the 0 or 0 or the 1 so how the imaginary lines with some you know points will going to establish themselves that is the interpolation so here I would like to go with the smooth one okay that is fine and now if I gonna play the timeline you'll notice that oh, wow the particles have actually started following the path of the geometry but there is one problem the problem is that first of all the particles are you know from the speed point of view they're moving absolutely so fast so what I need to do is that first of all I would like to correct the speed and for that I need to go to the lifespan attributes and instead of the constant one let me just put that thing to the six or maybe to the eight depending upon the aesthetical values or you can say how we how do we gonna take the scene I mean obviously I need to take the play blast and all only then I will like to settle the values but as, as if for now six is a good start alright so similarly like the way we have sampled the goal U we need to do something for the goal U also so if I'm gonna go for the create expressions and bring the magic particles shape goal U here I can give the random values for the U sections 1 is to 0 and can close that and let me just, let me just uh, click the create close it okay now it's time to play that again and now you're going to notice that now very beautifully the particles are now uh, you know following the path of the geometry but there is still one thing which is missing uh, just start thinking and then I'm going to open the secret well the simple thing is that you know as you can observe when these you know the changes that we made the particles are actually following the nerve geometry but the only thing is that the particles are not not rotating according to the twist that we have made so what they should be doing is that the particles should also twist or you can say bend themselves just like the way or you can say if they are moving from the first point to the end point they should you know twist themselves so that is not like that but difficult to do is quite easy you need to select the particles and you also need to know notice one more thing that the distribution of the particles is fairly even I mean you can say that sometimes people they do mess up with you know interpolations like you know I have seen people working with this kind of way also exponential up or let's say exponential down so see the change what you're gonna get you can notice that the flow is quite smooth in the beginning but as it reaches over here there is some problems okay so we actually don't recommend to use any other you can say interpolation except that so what I want is that you should use only the smooth one alright so there's a reason for that so that's quite an okay now it's time to create some more you can say twist inside the particles and for that I need to go to the expression again and instead of the creation that will going to work for the first particles for the first frame only so we can go to the runtime before dynamics so that they should be consistently applying upon the particles so take down the magic underscore particle shape dot goal u and plus equals to that means for every frame this value will going to work and go for 0 0.035 alright so that would be a good start and create that now just to make you a little more comfortable I would like to change the value to 12 or maybe 10 and now just you know see the timeline now you should be observing this yeah now the particles 
are getting twist and turn themselves let me just increase the time slider a bit more and now you can see that there is a nice twist inside the particles so this twist is basically very important for the behavior of the fluids all right so we're going to take a look at that in the next video where we will be establishing the link between the twist and the fluids all right so that is actually important and for your understanding a little bit more you can you know change the type of the particle from the points to the spare and it's obviously quite high so I can you know reduce the value let's say 0 0.050 that's okay and now if you play the timeline you should be noticing that yes now there is a nice curling or you can say the twisting inside the motion of the particles and this is the only thing obviously along with the external fields that would be going to provide you the nice twisting inside the motion of the fluids all right so this section is absolutely important to understand and here you can clearly see that the particles are now completely you know twisting themselves like the way they are moving towards the dragon all right so with that we are done with the process and I guess there shouldn't be any confusions we just use some two simple expression that was a goal V and goal U and the reason was that you can clearly notice one more thing you know like this is a ramp with the value 0 over here we have value 1 that means the entire NURBS geometry was covered in the normalized value that is the 0 to the 1 and we here also sample out the particle values for the NURBS V section that means in the V section the particles with the 0 starting over here will going to end themselves over here which is the one value all right so that was the importance of the normalizations and all and I guess we again would like to take them back to the points since the point is the best thing to observe and quite light also in the viewport so we are done with the process now I am still you know revising my values which is you can say the 15 is quite high so bring it back to the 6 okay and change the timeline again back to the 180 okay so with this way we are actually done with the process I think so I haven't changed that okay if 6 is done yeah absolutely fine now you can see the particles have now got themselves back to the track and everything is now working absolutely great so with this we are almost done with the process of creation of the particles now it's time to move to the next video